Welcome to Drawing with Dina. That's me. If you um, don't know me, my name is Dina, or if you're my student, I'm Miss Rennick. And we are gonna do some drawings. This is my second live video. I really enjoyed the first one and I love seeing everybody come visit and so we can spend some time together. Um, so we're gonna make art and we're gonna spend time together. Just so you know, my shirt says, Mommy, Mama Sharp, do 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 do. Um, my son is 20, but he got it for me for um, Mother's Day last year, and I'm wearing it um, because actually today is um, Spirit Week, like virtual Spirit Week for my high school, and so it's pajama day today, so I'm wearing my Mama Shark and my Star Wars pajamas, so that is my outfit for today. But again, drawing with Dina, and um, last time we drew a dog and... Um, what else we do? A man, and we drew a uh, bunch of flowers. Today, we're going to draw at least two or three things. And then if you have other things you want to learn how to do, let me know. But the first thing is, we're going to draw a bunch of different kinds of hearts. And probably a lot of you have drawn hearts. I've drawn them my whole life. And sometimes people get frustrated because they're not perfect but we are gonna draw hearts that are not supposed to be perfect and they're gonna be fun. And I'm gonna show you a couple different kinds of arrows and how to make hearts um, look like an arrow is going through it. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was how to do ribbons. So then if you wanna have hearts and ribbons together, you can put words on them or you can just color them. And you can also, if you know how to do those things, do draw hearts and ribbons, um, you know, you could make some artwork out of it. You could give it to someone you love. You could make a card. I put those kind of hearts on cards all the time. Here's another more advanced kind of heart that um, we're gonna do. So it's kind of like doodling hearts. So um, kind of learning to loosen up and have fun and just sort of see where your drawing takes you. And here's a little bit more advanced ribbons that we can do as well. So, um, like I said before in the last live and today also, you only need to have something to write on, something to draw on, and something to draw with. So if you have white paper, that's fine. If you have lined paper, that's fine. If you have um, a marker, I'm using a marker, but if you have a pencil or a pen or anything, um, just use it. Doesn't matter, we're gonna have fun. You could draw on cardboard, you could draw on the sidewalk. Anything you want to do, we're just going to have fun making art and being creative at home, okay? So the first thing I'm going to show you is my philosophy of drawing hearts. Um, I've shown some of my students this. Um, so a lot of times people get really kind of uh, nervous and they want it to be perfect. But my philosophy is if you're not trying to be perfect, then you're not, you know, upset when it's not. So when I make a heart, I don't even try to make it even. So this lets you kind of be relaxed and loose. So it's okay if you have a big side and a little side, however you wanna do it. And then you can make different size ones. So you can do, basically, if you just put a bunch of them on there in all different sizes, it's going to look really cool. Like even that by itself is already kind of cool, isn't it? So um, you could do some medium sized ones. Mm -hmm. You could have some peeking out behind other ones. See, that one looks like it's coming out behind there. So that's just your basic average heart and you can practice that. I like to do it. If I'm sitting in a meeting, I will sit there and just draw hearts all over the place. And now I'm going to show you what you can do once you get comfortable drawing hearts. Okay. So this is something that I have drawn for as long as I can remember. So once we get our heart, like that, or it can be looser. 
um, we're going to make a little swirl. And come on here somewhere. Like um, this. Like that swirl. So all you do is you start on one side and you curve it around, come around, and then go down again. So you're just going down. So here we go. I'm going to come a little bit. I'm going to bring this whole thing a little closer so you can see a little bit better. Okay. Let's try this. There. So you're going to start here. Curve it down. Go down diagonal. And then down and stop right on it. And now it looks like there is a, a kind of vine or a little swirl going around it. Um, like that. So again, it goes it, without the heart, it goes curve around, diagonal down, curve down, kind of like a backwards S. Um, then if you want to, the only difference between that and the fancier one is I just made the line a little bit thicker. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, if you just make another line that goes along it, two lines, and then you could leave it like that if you want to, or you can fill it in. You could fill it in with a color if you wanted to. I'm just using a Sharpie. This is also making me realize I need to get glasses because this is very close to my face. So then if you fill it in, it just it looks a little bit more fancy pants. Another heart I like to do is a bubble heart. So it's like a regular heart. It's just that this part at the top, um, I'll show you. Make your heart, but then here, don't meet it in the middle, meet it there, and then it looks like a bubble heart. Autumn, hey, so I've got, oh, Jayla, you came back too, yay. So we've got um, Tristan, we've got Jalea, and we've got Autumn, and we're gonna do hearts. So if you haven't already, go ahead and get uh, something to write with and something to draw on. If you don't have anything with you right now, it's um, okay. You could either go get some and come back or you can um, just watch, but you don't have any, have to have anything fancy, just some kind of paper or something to draw on and something to make a mark with. So, um, did I know that Tristan saw, but did um, Jalea and Autumn see how to start the heart? Just in case, let me just show you. Uh, this is kind of like the first example. And I didn't, I drew this before you guys came on, so you didn't miss that. I just wanted to show you we're gonna do hearts, different kinds of hearts, hearts with arrows. I'm gonna show you a couple different kinds of autumns. Uh, no, <laughs> your autumn. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple different kinds of arrows to draw. Um, I'll show you how to make them look kind of fancy. And then if we have time, I'll show you how to do different kinds of ribbons and you can include that. Okay, cool. That looks good. So, um, so Jalea already saw it. I'm going to do just a real quick, uh, example again of the heart. So remember we are never trying to be perfect. We are always just having fun and kind of relaxing. So with the heart, I think the biggest thing I've noticed with any students I have, I see somebody else join. So if you can say hi to me so I can say hi back. Um, but I, I've noticed that something like the the main thing that people have problems with when they're trying to draw hearts is they want it to be perfect and it's not because it's really hard to be perfect. So the solution is don't try to be perfect. So um, instead of trying so careful, I mean, you can, you know, but since we're not perfect, maybe one ends up too big and one too small. But guess what? That can be cool. That can be fun. So instead, just let it be loose. Let it be fun. And then by the time you add all your other stuff, then you're good. Yeah, and you can always go back. If you want me to show you something and explain it a little bit better, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want me to show you another different style, let me know. Um, the example I was doing for everybody 
um, at the beginning here, if you look now, a single one of those hearts is perfect and even, and that is totally cool. Hey, James is here. Hi. So, uh, and if I think if I just kept going in and adding little hearts here and there, wherever there's some space, couldn't you see drawing, um, coloring the hearts, all different kinds of bright colors in the background, a different color maybe? So again, we are not going for perfect hearts. That's not what we're doing. We're just trying to have fun and doodle some hearts. Um, again, here, if you have a heart, this is if you want to make this. And I've literally, if I went back and looked at my journals from high school and back when I was younger, I will find this same heart because I have drawn this heart over and over and over again whenever I'm just sitting around. But the basic idea is after you have your heart, you make this shape. So it starts here, curves around, slides down, curves around. So here, like that, oh, I could have gone a little higher, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna show you another little trick. If you want it to look kind of like a balloon, like it's got a reflection on it, you um, go like that, and now it looks like it's got a reflection. Okay, um, so the other kinds, y'all wanna see, uh, here's some more uh, different kinds of hearts here. So do you want me to show you these or maybe the arrows? Do you want to see the arrows and the hearts first? I think that might be good next, don't you think? The teacher in me wants to say, raise your hand if you want me to do arrows. But I have made the executive decision. I'm going to show you how to do some arrows. So... And again, I make cards. I still make cards with these hearts on them. Um, if you look at a lot of artwork these days, um, it's very loose and kind of um, free feeling. So you might go to the store and buy a card with a heart on it, and it would look the same as yours, like very loose and free and not so perfect. So um, I'm going to show you how to do arrows. Ah, Autumn's hand is up. All right. So the arrows, we're voting for arrows, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple things about arrows. Um, the most simple one is like that, right? Like we've all drawn an arrow. Um, and then you can just go a little bit fancier. So you can make that a closed, um, oh, that's a triangle. And then you could do some feathers off the side. So that's cool. That's a good one. And if you don't like that line in the middle, you can fill it in. Then another thing that I don't know when I started doing this, but something that I like is, now I'm going to hold it up here, hopefully you can see it. Instead of doing a straight triangle, curve it like that. And then um, you could do the same end here. Or the other thing you can do is go like that. And then draw lines there. And then fill it in. If you do this and you like one of these, let me know which one. We can call them one, two, or three. Um, which one you like the best. Um, and I'm sure there's other kinds. So did anybody try the arrows or the hearts yet? While you guys are drawing, I'm gonna draw a few more hearts for some examples of what to do with these arrows. And remember, I'm not making perfect hearts. I'm just having fun. Okay. I'll do another little one here. Kind of the bubbly one. Hey, Kimberly, hey. So I'm going to show you how to make it look like the arrow is shooting through the heart, okay? So first you're going to draw a line like that. I'll do this a couple times for you. Then leave a little space, but it's like you're staying the same, doing the same line, but leave a little space. 
So now it's like that. It kind of looks like a must mustache to me. Um, then on the end, Do your uh, arrowhead. And on this end, I think we call that fletching. So now it looks like it's shooting through. Another way you can go is if you want it to look like it's going from the front to the back, do your line, but instead of starting in the front, You can go like that. Now it looks like it's shooting from the front to the back. What do you think? Anybody try it? Tristan and Jalea, are you going to try it later? I got to remember to look up at the camera so y'all can see me. Okay. Um, so... Let me know if you tried one of these arrows. And, oh, three. I see. Kimberly said three. She likes the third one. Yes, I do too. Depends kind of in my mood, but I like this one for some reason. You could if you wanted to um, add lines on that afterwards, but I like to draw it that way. Um, another thing you can do with hearts, which would be really fun to color in later, are some of these. So I'm going to show you how to do some kind of doodly doodly hearts. Um, and I think I might just show you on this one because this one's already becoming quite a doodle. So if you look at these, all I did, and I do the same thing with flowers, I kind of did the same thing with one of my flowers at the last live, is I just repeat the same shape over and over again. Or here, I just repeated it one time, and then I put little bumps on it. And these were kind of the same sort of things you would see if you did one of those Zen tangles for adults or, or for any, any age, really. But um, if you just keep on adding lines and designs and shapes um, and patterns, you will end up with something that you really fun to color later. So, for instance, hmm, let's do this one. Okay, so it's kind of big, so I'm gonna put lines inside of it. Um, let's see, I think this one would be good. Do another line around it. Now it has a double outline. And then just like little, they look just like this, like little bumps. And they don't even have to be all the same size. Um, I'm drawing with a Sharpie, partially because I like to draw with a Sharpie and also because it is easy for you guys to see on the camera. Um, and also, a lot of times I'll have my students draw with something permanent so that you don't get worried about erasing things um, because you just go with it. So do you see how that one now has a, like a little bit of extra pizzazz? And um, you could do anything. You could do, um, let's see, we could put more hearts. You see how if you just put part of it behind there, it looks like it is just like floating all in space. <laughs> so we could just fill this whole entire thing up. I kind of think for this one, for this live, I do have some examples for ribbons. And I can do ribbons if you guys want me to do ribbons, which... Here's some of my examples. Um, but if we just wanted to play around with hearts the whole time, here's my basic uh, ribbons here. If you wanted, we could just do hearts, kind of fill up this page, and then you could try to make your own um, doodle page too. Another thing I think is fun 
when I'm doodling with hearts is after I put a few overlapping hearts or any shape really, I start to do more lines around it. Oh, <laughs> James likes, um, oh, and clouds. Kimberly said add clouds. James said he likes uh, that it looks like ruffles. Yes, it does look like ruffles. It, well, yeah, it looks like ruffles or lace or those like heart boxes you get for um, Valentine's Day, you know, with chocolate in it. Um, Autumn says ribbons make everything look better. So I think that means we should definitely do a couple of ribbons. So I'll show you that. But let me just show you this real quick. So I like to do this where I overlap things, but skip over the other shapes that are behind and it starts to um, like all become one design. The exactly, oh, the heart boxes. I think James said it exactly. And I think he's talking about like chocolate boxes. Is that what you're talking about, James? Um, Let's see, what else could we do? We could do, oh, we gotta do clouds. Let's see. Let's do some clouds in here. We're gonna add like the old school, like kids, you know, looking clouds. Uh, I don't know if you can tell it's a cloud, but it's a cloud. I'm gonna have a cloud here. You know what this reminds me of? Um, do you guys know uh, Lisa Frank? When I was young, I had a trapper keeper and it was like this through ring binder with all kinds of like folders and everything in it and pockets. And it had um, Lisa Frank was very popular. So you get Lisa Frank trapper keepers, Lisa Frank stickers. And um, it was always very busy and very colorful. So you would first draw it and fill it in. Well, she would draw it and then um, then you could go in. Let's see. Oh, the hearts kind of look like clouds now, don't they? Oh, Kimberly said I was just gonna, I was just going to that. I love my trapper keeper. Yes. Um, and I actually looked up some Lisa Frank artwork. Oh, I don't know, maybe last year or another year. So these are um, kind of like that style, kind of an 80s style of cloud that I'm putting in here. And um, especially since I've kind of filled it in a lot, I hope I think I'm off the page. Since I filled it in a lot, I definitely have to have them overlapping. But it's the same as the hearts. You don't have to um, be perfect. You can just kind of fill it in and have fun. Do you see how nothing I'm doing here takes a lot of uh, super duper amazing skills. Like it's really having fun, but the more you add, the more fun you have with it. And if you um, did look at Lisa Frank stuff, which um, some of you might know, even some people now know like she lives forever, um, but there's not just hearts and just clouds. There might be rainbows. Like we could put a little, let's put a rainbow here. You see how I skipped over that area? So that's gonna be a rainbow. And I'm going to divide it so that it can be like an actual rainbow colors. There's six. There's actually seven. If you mean, there's actually uh, indigo and violet, but I made enough for uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So now I got a little rainbow coming out of the cloud. Um, so you can see, you could just keep adding and adding. Right. James said that looks like it would be fun to color, like in a coloring book. And actually, I don't have one. But if I did have a photocopier, maybe before I colored it, you, you know, I could make a whole bunch of copies of it and then I could have my own coloring page. Or you could put another piece of paper on it and trace it. Uh, oh, very Care Bearsy. Yes, it is very Care Bearsy. And um, I've been thinking about Care Bears lately because uh, who doesn't? Everybody does. Um, but we could keep on adding. Now I made this mark to show you guys uh, what these little things look like, but I'm gonna turn it into another heart. And the cool thing is when I started doing this live, I did not have any plan 
to do this. Like this was not the plan. I was just going to make some hearts. But if you just sort of have some fun with it and let things happen freely, you end up with some cool looking stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's just scribble scrabble and sometimes it turns into something cool. <laughs> right, exactly. Everybody loves Care Bears, right? I was walking past my friend's house. Um, actually, I was running past my friend's house and um, you know, I couldn't say hi to him. So I sort of just like looked at him and thought like, I'm sending Care Bear love to them. Um, so I'm gonna put this aside for a minute and show you a few ribbon things because Autumn said everything is better with ribbon. Um, or do you guys want me to fill this in all the way? Because you know, by now I'm this far along, I wanna fill it all the way in, but I can do it on my own. Um, here, Another thing that's fun, I think I'll show you this. So if you end up with some spaces, it's it's fine and actually sometimes it's good to leave white space around. So then you could color everything, but then not color. Oh, um, you know what? Kimberly said bullet journal ribbons. I do not know what that is, but I think I probably need to find out. I've been seeing people talk about bullet journals. Um, but like for here, I could start looking at So you see how I just made a shape inside there? So, um, but I think bullet journals kind of go with the flow too, don't they? Um, but you see here, and I see somebody else joined. So if you can comment, say, hey, and let me know who you are. Otherwise, I'm happy you're here. Um, yeah, so I think this does have a similar kind of feel as bullet journals, um, which I haven't done. I did buy one, but I never used it. And I, so I don't still know what it is. But do you see how I had the empty space and I, kind of went around and left blank space and filled that in. So if I do that, there's no, uh, you know, right or wrong way to do this. Um, but it's starting to create white outlines around some of my drawings. Hey, Chris! Hey, how are you? Chris is a good friend of mine from, from back in the day. So Chris, we are making, uh, we started off, I was just showing everybody how to make hearts, um, but you're doing okay, good, good. The last time uh, last time Chris saw Willow, he was, I think, maybe in preschool, maybe he's 20 now. Yes. You all are hanging in there? Um, so I think I'm just gonna keep on doing this. So, so Chris join, is joining us now. Um, I just started off, I was gonna show everybody how to make hearts and arrows through hearts. Um, 2004, and it's 2020, so 16 years ago. Yeah, well, it was four. Um, I still have a picture of a bunch of us um, canoeing in Ohio. Let's see, I think I was starting off on one. And then um, the reason I stopped, you see how I didn't go quite to the page? I'm trying to decide if I want a white edge so I would make my line here or if I wanna go off the page. I think I'm gonna go off the page because I did with my clouds. So anyway, this started off as just like a, a scratch pad to show people how to make hearts and um, Mar math and art in one lesson. Math and art really go hand in hand. And let me tell you, I have this really clear vision of when I was in sixth grade. I was in New Ago, Michigan. That's where I went to school when I was in, in uh, sixth grade. And I remember standing in the hallway of my math class and saying to the teacher, why do I have to come in? I don't like math. I'm never going to need math. And she said, oh, well, what are you going to be, you know, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was like, I'm going to be an artist. I don't need math. And she laughed. And now I see why, because I'm an artist and I'm specifically a sculptor. So I literally use math all the time. And, and um, like math and science and art go hand in hand, like the color wheel and prisms of light. Um, do you guys know, um, if I told you before, don't say, but do any of you know who K 
came up with the color, uh, like color wheel, the theory of color wheel? If you do make a comment and let me know. It is a fun thing to know. Yes. So let's see, I think I'm just gonna keep on, maybe I'll put another something here. Maybe I'll put the top of a cloud here. And we know these are not really what clouds look like. They're 80s clouds. <laughs> and I'm just leaving space. I know it just got distracted. Um, my students say, I say squirrel. <laughs> Autumn said you. So Autumn, who's coming now, is my niece. And anytime we are together, we really like to make art together. They are um, full-time RVers. And so sometimes they come through town. They used to live here. Uh, they're camper size living if you want to check them out. And um, she is an awesome artist. Do you see how it's all filling in? And then I can put shapes inside the shapes. Cool, huh? So I guess I'll set this aside now that I got myself distracted. And um, we'll do some ribbons. But then if we want to come back and finish this, we can or I can finish it later. Okay, so for ribbons, here is, aw shucks, oh yeah. And she plays a ukulele, she taught herself, just from YouTube. Um, and Chris is an awesome artist and teacher. Um, so these are some basics. Oh yeah, James said Autumn loves to do these kind of drawings. So this is like a really basic one. So I'm gonna show you this one. Uh, it's a good place to start and then you can work your way to a little bit more complicated. You can put a little zing in it and then you can make a couple little zoops in there. That is definitely a technical word, a zoop. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have to say one thing I'm loving is that so many of us are connecting Lately, um, even though so many of us are far apart, we're together still in kind of a weird way. And I love that so much. It, and it brings up memories. Like whenever I hear about anybody, um, like you show up on my live feed or I see you on yours or I see a post that you did on Instagram. Um, it's just so nice to see what everybody's up to. Um, so for the ribbon, let's start off with a simple one. Um, so basically, if you just kind of make a curve, any curve, it's fine. It can be straight because not all ribbons are waving in the wind. Ooh, I made that kind of, it's kind of chunky, but it's okay. We're just going to go with it. And then you do a little, little V's on the end and there you have a ribbon. Did anybody try that? And then you put words on it. It also kind of looks like a snake's tongue to me, these little ends. There's another little one. You could put little swoops in it. So then if we want to get just a little bit fancier, you can make a thin one. Um, you can make it thicker. Now these are also really fun things to put on cards or pictures or signs. Um, you know, like if you want to make a sign for somebody and give them like, you're the best person in the whole world award, um, you can put a ribbon on it and then put best person in the whole world award on it. Um, or like you could, if you know how to write cursive, which I was thinking I might do a live on how to write cursive because uh, a lot of my high school students um, don't know how to, so I'm, uh, I like to teach them how. And then they get to sign cursive on like their driver's license and stuff. So you can put a little sign on there and then you get fancier. 
Oh, I could do one on calligraphy too. I like to do lettering. I learned how to do lettering um, in fourth grade from a substitute teacher. And I've been kind of obsessed ever since. And also the Coca-Cola sign. Okay, so now, James says, how can people show you the results from their lessons live or on the replay? So um, one thing you can do that some people did from the last live was um, they posted, they sent me um, pictures or tagged me on my Instagram, which is Dina Renick Art. So D-E-A-N-A-R-E-N-N-I-C-K-A-R-T. And that's listed on um, about me on my um, YouTube channel. Um, so you could, you could DM me or you could just tag me on yours. Um, can you put, can you put, um, pictures in the comments on YouTube? I'm, I'm new to the, the live, so I'm not positive. Um, but definitely you could send it to me, um, on Instagram is, is, is great. Um, but if you can tag me on this, that'd be great. Somebody let me know if you can. Um, and Autumn said, when we get there, we have to do handwriting one. I love that kind of thing. Ooh, maybe when you get here, Autumn, you and we could do one together. We could do a live together. It's done. As long as you're in, I'm in. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to make it look like it's flowing in the wind. Okay. So, and again, there's not a perfect way or an imperfect way. Or maybe there's like lots of imperfect ways. So you just make... A curvy line and then you straight down from the outside of the curve you go like that you might already be able to tell how this is gonna work yes uh, James asked can I put the links in the con uh, to my contacts in the video description I'll put all the links so I'll put my my Instagram um, my what else can I do my email if you want my email um, my Snapchat. Um, so I'll put all of those. And if you all have anything that would be a convenient way to um, contact me, let me know. And I'll add that in the description also. So you see these little lines? Now, this line here goes this way. So this one's going to go the same way. You see that? Then, oh, Autumn said yes. Okay, it's done. When Autumn gets here, in five weeks, we're going to do a live together. Okay, so then I just follow here. See? And then here, same thing. Keep it the same distance. Follow that curve. And there you go. You got a ribbon that swirls around. So I'm thinking, oh, oh, yes, good. Um, I'm thinking, do you want me to do this last one and then we'll call it a day? And again, you can, um, you know, stop it, stop the video once I upload it so you can see again. But so basically, you can do any kind of curvy line. And then wherever you have a curve, go straight down straight down and then follow the original line the same direction so if it curves you curve we'll put our little ends um and i don't know if you can tell but it went off the page and that is fine i like to say our art is so creative it can't be contained on the page all the time Yes. So does anybody have any questions or anything that they want me to, to do real quick? Let's see. Oh, I did want to tell you, I have a bunch of um, uploaded art videos also on my channel. Um, so there's everything from how to draw 3D forms, draw and shade, how to make three-dimensional block letters or just block letters how to 
um, sew. I have some sewing videos, how to draw with sewing, how to make flowers. I know um, Jalea said that she wanted to learn how to make flowers with soda bottles. So um, once we, everybody gets a, a couple soda bottles, like a Coke bottle or a Sprite bottle, something that's not colorful, like a 7-Up bottle. So don't don't get like a Mountain Dew one's green because if you end up painting it, um, the green would make it a little weird, but you could still use it. Um, but some kind of soda bottle, that consistency. Probably not a thin water bottle. Um, I don't know why I'm holding that up. I was just talking. Good. I'm glad you liked it, Kimberly. Um, and let me know. Yeah, so if you do this and if you color it, um, I want to see that too. So I'll put I'll put all the links. So definitely I'll get I'll put my email, I'll put my Instagram. Um, you can make comments here if you have questions or things that you want to learn how to do that I can show you. I'm trying to do a lot of things that we can do at home with whatever we happen to have around. Um, but if you have anything that you want to learn how to draw, let me know and I will love to visit with you and draw with you. Um, one of my favorite things to do. So, and in five weeks, Autumn and I will do a live together. But I'm going to do more before five weeks is up. Um, in the next couple of days, I'll put up a, a link um, in, on my Instagram, Dina Renick Art, for, um, I'll put it in my story for when I'm going to post again. And, um, I'll put it on my Snapchat too. I don't use Snapchat very much, but um, I can start my my Snapchat. I don't know what my Snapchat is. Um, yes. Oh, James said this would be, once this is all colored in, it would be a great thumbnail. That would be really cool. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Um, I'm not sure what my Snapchat name is, but I will put it on there down in the links and, and let me know. And also if you like this or you wanna have some art, I'm gonna to try to do this every few days um, because I know a lot of people are at home kind of wanting something to do right now. So um, let me know if you want to do it again, I'll do it. And um, if you think other people, if you know people who would wanna do um, art lessons with us and they can join us, um, share the uh, my channel or share the link. Um, if you comment or hit the bell and subscribe, um, then you can get notifications when I'm going to do the next one. So where's my um, Dina Rennick? I lost my eye. If you saw my little, here we go, drawing with Dina. So if you want to do more drawing with Dina, come back again. Thank you all so much for coming. I can't tell you how much I love, yay. I can't, I can't tell you how much I love spending time with you and um, Chris and Jalea and Tristan, thank you for coming and joining me. And um, Tristan and Jalea are um, two of my students. So I love that they're checking in and doing drawings with us. Bye, Chris. I'll talk to you soon. So anybody? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, James. Thank you for joining and thank you for sharing the, the link um, after I posted it. So, and uh, I, I will upload it too. So it'll be there for, for people to see if you can share it. Bye. I love you. Bye, you guys. Bye, James. Mwah.